The vice president, Major Retired Jessica Arupo, yesterday celebrated her 77th mother's birthday with a call to parents to educate their children, saying investment in education was the best insurance for the latter's future as she poured praises to her dear mother for having educated all her children. She said, as children, they were thankful to their mother and their departed father for bringing them up in a Christian and dignified way, which is full of humility. Wow! That is my mother is a midwife, a retired midwife, and my late father was a teacher. And we used to see them work very hard on top of their salary, which they were getting, to do so many agricultural enterprises to supplement what they had in their salary in order to educate all of us. They managed to educate all of us. So I would like to call upon all of us who are here to use this as an example that do not think that it is too heavy. You just think that it is possible to educate all your children. Flanked by her husband, Peter Abaine, Vice President Alupo, who doubles as a woman member of parliament for Katakwi district, said her mother, Amajong Akol Benedict, was and will always be everything for them as her children. Relatedly, the Vice President thanked the security personnel of the Vice President's office, the press team, drivers and all staff for exhibiting resilience and professionalism since she assumed the office. She assured her staff that Katakui is home and thanks them specifically for professionalism in which they conduct their duties while calling on them to keep it up saying that they have her blessings. Peter Abaine, in his remarks, thanked God for the life of Toto, saying that Toto has been a great parent and that he is grateful to have her as his parent. Toto has been uh, a great parent, as many have already mentioned, and I am grateful to have her as my parent. I thank all the family members for continuing to have me as one of the family members. The main celebrant, Amajon Akol Benedict, thanked her children, family members, religious leaders and district officials for coming to celebrate with her. She praised God for a healthy life. Tole Ed Archangel, UBC News.